Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. So we're gonna start our mini routine. Are you ready? So let's start, we're gonna start lying down today. So we're just gonna rest on your back. And remember that we always start with just a few breaths, a few breathing exercises, just to help us to just concentrate into the present moment. So we just relax here, move your hands on your tummy, relax your feet, listen your breath, Inhale deep through your nose and exhale deep through your nose again. Relax your shoulders and your face. Feel the air in and out through your nose. Feel the movement of the tummy, the ribs expanding. And we're going to take a couple of breaths, inhaling through your nose, exhaling through your mouth like a frog in a glass. Inhale and exhale. Make that sound like you are fogging a glass. Inhale through your nose. Exhale. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. And the last one. Now we're going to close the mouth. Same sensation in our throat like a fog in a glass, but that will help us to control more the speed and the amount of air in and out. So we're going to try to have the same sensation, which is called Ujjayi breath. So we go inhale deep and exhale to your nose with the sensation of fog in a glass, that sensation of kind of contracting your throat. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more inhale, and exhale. If you don't remember or you don't feel any more the sensation in your throat, just exhale through your mouth and then you feel it again and then after just close your Close your mouth. So let's start, everybody. Move your arms over your head. Push your heels away. Take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. We're going to bend the knees. We lift the feet off the ground. You can move your arms just beside your body. Keep your knees together. And we're just going to move the knees in circles just to release your lower back. I feel lovely sensation in the lower back. Let's keep going. For five. Four. Three, two, and just one more. We change the direction. We just go five, four, three, two, and last one. Back to center. Open your knees onto reclining child pose, but with the legs open. And we just gently pull the knees close to our tummy. Relax your face, relax your shoulders. We hold four deep breaths. Inhale deep and exhale. Let's go for three. Exhale. Let's go two. Exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Move your knees together. We're going to cross this time the right leg over the left. Completely cross your thighs. If you can move the foot under the other lower leg, so the right foot under the left, fine. If not, as far as you can, as far as you can go. And then we're going to hold the legs from behind, and we're just going to gently pull them close to us. If we cannot touch our legs, we can use a towel or a belt. Now we hold here, relaxing our shoulders, our face. Inhale for four. Three, two, and one more. Release, uncross your legs. Extend your legs, move your arms overhead, take a deep breath, inhale, 
on X. Now we bend the legs and let's go other side. So the left leg cross over the right thigh. Lift your foot. If you can knock the foot under the other lower leg, it's fine. If not, as far as you can keep it close to the leg. Now move your hands under the knees and just gently pull the legs closer to you. But try to relax your shoulders. Try to use your tummy like you are pulling your legs from your tummy. We hold here for four breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Two. And just one more. And then uncross your legs, extend your legs on the ground, move your arms over your head, take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Now we bend the legs, we go into happy baby pose, so we open the knees wider, and we just keep, you can hold the back of the knees to pull your knees down towards to the ground, but make sure that the sole of the feet are facing upwards. Some of you can catch your ankles, or some of you your feet, but make sure that the sole of your feet remain facing upwards. If not, we just catch the back of the knees and open your knees wider. So let's hold for four. Inhale deep, and exhale. Let's go for three, two, just one more. Now move your knees together, squeeze the knees towards your tummy, lift the head off the ground, and we're going to rock him backward and forward to move on to the sitting pose. And we just come into the sitting pose. From the sitting pose, we're going to extend our legs as far as our back can be straight. It's really important that we don't extend the legs keeping the back curving. So if the back is curving, bend your knees. We're going to drag the right knee closer. And we're going to move our hands at the back. And with the, fingertip, the fingertips and the foot, we're going to press the ground to extend our back. Open your chest, relax your shoulders. We hold four breaths. Inhale deep. Exhale. Let's go for three. And exhale. Open your chest. Let's go two. And just one more. Great, everybody. Now we swap the legs. Remember that you can bend the other knee if you feel too much tension or if it's kind of hard to keep the back straight. Use your fingertips or you can keep your feet wherever is comfy for you. Just I wanted to you have that sensation of pushing your hips forward to straight your back. Open your chest to extend our chest, release tension in our chest. We hold four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for three. Exhale. Let's go to exhale. And just one more. And exhale. Now extend both legs and we're just gonna tilt backwards. I'm feeling again this curving of the spine engaging you, Tommy. And we're gonna hold the contraction here for four breaths. Let's go. Inhale. Flex your feet, sorry. So then you can push your feet forward. So let's keep going with our breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go for two. Exhale. It's hard for the tummy. Just one more. Inhale. And exhale. Well done, everybody. Now push your pelvis forward. Bend your knees. Extend your arms all the way up. And we're going to drop the hands behind, fingers pointing forward, drag the heels just under the knees, push the ground with your feet and your hands to lift the pelvis. And we're going to reverse bridge, open your chest. Now here's super important, don't let the weight collapse on the wrist, so press with your fingertips. So let's hold here. You can look to the front or back or towards the ceiling, whatever is comfy for you. Four breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go for three. Two. 
and just one more. Well done, just drop your pelvis back onto the ground, hug the knees from behind. We try to balance ourselves on our big, our sit bones, and from here, try to lift your feet if it's possible. If not, you can always keep one to toes. You, you can reach with your toes, so you can reach with your toes with one leg. But if you can, lift me your feet off the ground, and we're gonna kick with the arm, with the legs. So we go inhale, exhale. We try to extend the right leg and flex. Doesn't matter if we don't extend too much, even if it's just here, it will help us to gain mobility. So let's go. Inhale, exhale, right leg. Inhale, down. Exhale, left, and down. Right down, left, down, right, engage your tummy, left, down, right, down, left, down, well done, release your feet, we're going to cross the legs, so the right leg go at the front of the left, and we're just going to lean forward as far as we feel comfy. You don't have to go all the way down as far as you feel comfortable. If your knees are too high and you feel pressure on your knees, hold the knees from under to help it support the pressure with the torso. So we hold here for breath. Inhale. And exhale. You can fold your arms just or you put place one hand on top to the other one to rest your head. Let's keep going for two more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. And one more, and exhale. Slowly we raise our torso, and we're just gonna twist toes to the right side, lifting your chest and help you with the back hand to straighten more your back. We look from above the right shoulder, hold for four. Inhale, and exhale. Let's go for three, two, Just one more. We go other side, and it's really important that you keep your back straight when you are twisting. We hold for four. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. Oh, it feels great in the spine, in the back. Super. Let's change the other leg. So the left leg go at the front, and we just lean forward as far as we can go. We hold here for four, three, two, and just one more. Slowly we raise our torso and we're just gonna twist now towards to the left side. And we just hold here for four. Keep your back straight, relax your shoulders straight. Two. And just one more. Let's go other side, we twist completely towards to the other side, lift your chest, relax your shoulders. Let's go for four, three, two, and just one more. Back to center. We're going to extend the legs again forward and we're going to tilt backwards. Remember, this kind of half roll up. We hold here for breath, feeling the tension in our tummy. Let's hold here for four. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three. Exhale. Let's go two. Exhale, and just one more. Exhale, engage your tummy, extend your back, 
Raise your torso, bend your legs, drop your hands behind, fingers pointing forward. Remember the reverse bridge. Place your, place your heels under your knees. Push the ground with your feet and your hands and use your fingertips. And we go reverse bridge. And we hold here. Four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go for two, inhale, exhale, and just one more, exhale, well done, we release, again our pelvis onto the ground, we can catch the legs again, we're gonna go again with the kick, ready, inhale, Exhale. You can flex your foot to give you more stretch into your thighs. Try to don't go too far that you start to feel pain. Remember, never stretch when you until the point that you feel pain. So let's keep going. Right and left. Right and left. Last one. Right and left. Well done. We release and we're going to go forward bend. Now in forward bend, if we don't have too much flexibility and our torso is very far away from our thighs, the best for us to don't hurt our hamstring is to bend the knees to allow us to reach more. So it doesn't matter if we need to bend the knees, but that will help us to stretch more the glutes, the back, and definitely as well the hamstrings. So we bend the knees. We have to, to keep our tummy close to our thighs. Relax your shoulders and we hold four breaths. Inhale and exhale. Let's go for three, two, and just one more. We lift our chest, straight our back. We go all the way. I'm just gonna turn around. So from here, we keep, 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 keep up. And then we're gonna just go lateral flexion. So we just go sideways as far as we can go. We hold four breaths. Inhale, try to keep your torso really on the side. Inhale, deep. Let's go for two. One more. And we go other side. And here your hand, try to keep it just beside your hip. Let's go other side. Feel nice and stretch. Keep both sit bones on the ground. Let's go for four. Three. Two. That feels good on your back. And just one more. We come back back onto Tadasana and we're gonna twist, but we're gonna lean as far as you feel comfy and as far as you keep both sit bones on the ground. Let's go for four. Four. Get your tummy. Three. Two. And just one more. Back again to center, we move other side, we twist and lean, let's hold for four, three, two, feel the stretch in your back really nice, and just one more. Back to center, bend your legs, and we're gonna do sitting child pose. So we squeeze the legs as much as we can closer to us, and be careful that you don't raise too much your shoulders. Try to use more your feet and your tummy. Let the head drop, and we hold for four. Four, four, can I squeeze your inner thigh? Do you have more strength in your legs? And let's go, inhale, exhale, two, Just one more. 
Raise your head, move your hands under the knees, and this time we're gonna try to lift both legs, okay? I'm gonna put it on the side, okay? It doesn't really matter if you just lift tiny, it's still big effort for us. Remember, never push too hard, it's painful when you are doing the exercises. So let's go, two legs up, and up. as much as we feel comfy. Let's go, three, and remember that you can always flex your feet, that will give you kind of more control with the legs. Let's go two. And last one. Fantastic. It doesn't matter if my legs were here. It's still a good job for us. And drop your feet, everybody. And we raise the torso. And we're going to go again, fall forward. Again, you can go all the way with your legs straight. Fantastic. But if not, we bend the knees to allow us to release more the glutes, the back, the legs, without forcing the hamstrings. We hold here four breaths. Inhale, relax your shoulders. Three, two, and just one more. And inhale, raise your torso, move all the way up. How do you feel? Great. So remember, if you have time, you can repeat again this routine. Just go to the chapter just below in the description, or you can click straight into the, into the video to come back to the beginning of the routine in the chapter. If not, if it's your time to go, so we're just going to say goodbye with the last three breaths. These three breaths that really help us to kind of energize ourselves. So hands in the prayer position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale through your mouth, arms down. <sighs> Inhale. And one more, everybody. Inhale. And exhale. Hands back into prayer position. And thank you for coming. Namaste. See you in the next video. And please subscribe, share, like, and leave us your comments. Any question you have, you can always find us as well in Instagram as a Sacred Voice Studio and in Facebook. Have a nice day. See you soon.